All right, guys, let's see how we can install VirtualBox under Ubuntu 19.10. Well, here, if we install it the default way, we'll see that we'll have problems. So we'll type sudo apt install VirtualBox. And uh, the problem is that uh, usually some of the modules which uh, VirtualBox requires are not uh, uh, the same version as uh, the latest Ubuntu release and such incompatibilities uh, prevent uh, the driver of VirtualBox uh, from installing into the kernel. And we see that uh, there are no original modules exist uh, within uh, the current kernel. So this uh, actually prevents the installation of uh, uh, VirtualBox. And uh, we'll see now how we can uh, solve this problem. All right, so first we'll uninstall uh, the current uh, leftovers from the installation. So type sudo apt uh, uh, remove uh, VirtualBox. And once the removal is finished, we'll go to the following website. Uh, so it's virtualbox.org uh, wiki test builds. So actually we'll be installing a package which is uh, just uh, in a testing stage. Um, so we'll grab one uh, from here, Linux 64-bit uh, uh, package. And uh, in those uh, test builds and uh, also uh, development snapshots, uh, most of the problems uh, are fixed. Uh, so that's what uh, we'll use and as advantage. Okay, so let's go back to the terminal once we have downloaded the file. So here it's called uh, VirtualBox uh, Linux AMD 64.run. In order to uh, be able to start this file, we'll type uh, sudo chmod plus x and then the file name. And now we can execute uh, the file and actually uh, install the VirtualBox. We'll type sudo and then the file name. And uh, this will run an installer which will extract uh, and install VirtualBox. All right, uh, the software has been successfully installed, um, so we can uh, try to run it. So type VirtualBox, and we see here uh, the VirtualBox uh, manager is uh, functioning correctly, and we can uh, run um, VirtualBox machines. A few more notes. Um, so if you'd like to um, uninstall the application, we have to type the same uh, sudo and then uh, the name of the executable with the parameter uninstall. And uh, the next thing uh, interesting is that uh, all the virtual box, uh, virtual machines will be placed inside of the root folder. Uh, this means that uh, if you'd like uh, to remove the virtual box machines, you can head up to root and uh, remove them uh, from there. And one last thing, please make sure your kernel is supporting uh, VirtualBox by typing uname minus R. We see that we are using 5.3 uh, kernel, which is supported uh, by VirtualBox. And if you have anything above it, just make sure that uh, on the website of VirtualBox, uh, your kernel uh, version is supported. And so that's it, guys. If you have enjoyed the information, you can subscribe to the channel.